Hi, in my previous video I was making 3D print turntable. Uh, I was print this one with uh, 35 centimeters uh, print bait and have a, a lot of requests from the viewer that most of you don't have this size of a 3D printer. So, so I have made a new version. After the assembly, it will have 36 centimeter diameter. I don't think that smaller than this would be uh, suitable for uh, 3D scanning with the laptops and also the other. So I made this one 36 centimeter and it's supposed to be print with the 250 millimeter print bed. So if you have Bamboo Lab X, X1C or E1S, I think that you can print this. You can print this in a single print in one bed and then you have to print this one. This one has a 240 millimeter diameter. And then you have to print this four times, I think. I'll show you how I put this together. 51211 uh, from SBC. If you get the other blend like uh, SKF uh, is gonna cost you uh, more. This one is six US dollar when I bought it. It made from steel. I forgot to mention that you need to apply some glaze or the ball bearing otherwise it will get rust and after you apply the glaze it will rotate even smoother because the smooth motion is, is good for uh, 3D scanning uh, to create uh, variation of the projection line of the laser. I have to move my hands. Now the turntable is very smooth and easy to move. So I move the turntable instead. Uh, when you print this, print it like this in this orientation. So this one facing the print bed. And you just cut it for locking it and the gravity will uh, pull the bearing down. And next you're gonna need a four of a um, six by three millimeter magnetic. This uh, this four part is exactly the same, so they are interchangeable. And of course, they printed this face down to get the texture of the print bed. You will see this dovetail. This one is shorter. There are four of them. That is shorter than the other. That will be the joint. So you need to put. You can't put it wrong, it's the foolproof. Just place it here, like this. And you may think that you don't need to put any adhesive, but this is PLA. When it tight fit, it will tight for a week and after that it will creep and get loosened by itself so you need to apply the adhesive but I'll show you how to assemble this first so it's quite tight fit when I first install this one it's very tight uh, five days later it get loosened by itself then I need to put some glue and put it back on because this cannot move when you do uh, export global marker, it has to be static. Maybe you don't need a glue. Okay, now we know it's fit, so I will take them apart. No, I can't. Okay, let's see. I was going to remove it, <laughs> but I can't. It's in the lock itself because it's in the circle. So I can't remove it. I should have put adhesive before I knock it in. Now I can't remove it. I'm not going to print a new one to show you how to apply adhesive. <laughs> right, so lesson learned. Apply adhesive before you knock it in because you can't remove it afterward. So the magnetic is also press fitting. You need something to push it down. So you place it over the hole and you're going to need 
some sort of uh, screwdriver to press it okay so now it's, it's in there previously I used a chopstick but I don't have it here just press it and push it past see here it has to press all the way in so therefore this you don't need to put adhesive on a magnet one sheet is 50 markers so you're gonna need 75 to put on this circular and you will need 8 for the distant target here 8 so 4 for each side okay after you have downloaded your files uh, drag and drop into the print bed uh, right click click on split to object it's now split into small object because the files that I upload is step files so you're gonna move things that you don't want to print out of the bed okay and when you print don't forget to flip it you know right you need to flip it like this so that this part is 240 right after you print this one you're gonna print four of this it's the same the extension that will make this circle 360 in diameter so you're gonna flip it like this and if you have a bamboo lab x1c or p1s that would be 250 print bed you're gonna print i don't think you can you can print two in one build print maybe you can i don't know you can try but you can you have to print four of this and then you're gonna print eight of this you print it in this orientation the far distant target right eight of this and then you're gonna print the base here and then you can probably you can print this together and don't forget to flip this side down like this okay it's not that difficult thanks you guys for watching and here's your bamboo lab edition of the 3d print turntable see you in the next video